First, from our homepage. A cash grab by Eurocrats on any savings above €100,000 as panicking Brussels officials try to fight off deflation and end equality could be on the cards this year. Or possibly a triumph by anti-European Union politicians in May's elections who form an alliance to become the majority group in the European Parliament, sending the Union into chaos as a result. These are just two of the ten forecasts from Saxo Bank's latest outrageous predictions list that analysts at the Trading House make every year. However, if some of the forecasts do come to pass, as a few have previously, such as last year's prediction that gold would drop by $500 an ounce to $1,200, Europe could be in for a rough ride this year. According to Saxo, there's a chance that Germany falls into recession while France's CAC40 index could plunge 40% from this year's peak. But the predictions are not confined to Europe. Other events that could rattle investors include traders piling into the yen as the global recovery falters, driving the desperate Bank of Japan to delete all government debt as it tries a simple but untested accountancy trick, U.S. politicians performing Act 2 of How to Disrupt the Economy, with Congress squabbling leading to deflation in the world's biggest economy. A plunge in the oil price to $80 a barrel as unconventional production methods cause an oversupply and hedge funds start to short crude. Investors realising the 700% premium that tech stocks Amazon, Netflix, Twitter, Pandora Media and Yelp trade at is an unsustainable bubble. Well, sounds like the four horsemen of the fiscal apocalypse are riding into town. But how likely is this to happen? Well, if you go to the audio section of our website and look up the interview we did with Bank of England Monetary Policy Advisor Dr Eric Edmund, you'll realise that most of what he said would happen has already happened. As I said yesterday when you asked the question, what is supporting the economic rally in Europe? Well, it's fueled from equity debt and money printing. And that means it's not a reflection of economic activity. And in simple terms, that means there is going to be a correction needed. And the bigger they let the error get, the larger the correction.